Damon Thibodeau, hours after he walked out of Louisiana's death row, a free man. His release, the outcome of a seven-year investigation that absolved Thibodeau of the rape and murder of a relative. DNA evidence discredited his confession, drawn by detectives who allegedly took advantage of his exhaustion and fed him details of the crime. Thibodeau spent 23 hours a day in solitary confinement awaiting his execution. You start... Uh talking to people, your lawyers in particular, you start to think, hey, maybe this just isn't the end. You, you know, I shouldn't be here. Maybe I shouldn't just accept it. And so you start to feel some hope and you start fighting. And event eventually this is where it leads to. Exoneration advocates thank police and prosecutors for cooperating in review of Thibodeau's case. When you think you have an innocent man and people on both sides can get together uh, and really share evidence and really conduct an investigation and a search for the truth, that's what's important. Thibodeau was embraced by other ex-convicts who have been freed thanks to DNA evidence. His release continues a flurry of recent exonerations and 300 in the past two decades. In California, John Edward Smith was released 19 years after his wrongful murder conviction for a drive-by shooting. A witness recanted his testimony. In the past two months, two others in Chicago and Texas were absolved of rape and murder thanks to new DNA analysis. Like Thibodeau, a quarter of those wrongfully convicted had given false confessions and admissions, often pressured by police to do so. But most of the wrongful convictions were the result of misidentification by eyewitnesses. And after many reports of faulty forensic examinations, the federal government has announced it will take another look at thousands of past cases. But that will take time, millions of dollars, and years of waiting by many presumed innocents languishing in prisons.